So I had this, you know, uh, Brad went on about 50 different dates in, in 50 states, but see, that's, that's his issue. No problem. But you have this sister that's doing a review about it and she kind of took issue a little bit on what Brad was doing. I don't know why. Let's review it. A woman from every state show of going on a date with a woman from every state. And let me just show you why he's getting a lot of hate. I'm doing this for a reason. Right there. Okay. I want to stop it right there. So he, out of all that, cause I, cause I, I, I glanced at this and I said, let me, let me stop this. So he did go on a, a date with, with one of them, you know, but, but it looked like she's biracial. That's what it looks like. I think it's fair to say that my guy has a type. Um, what's wrong with him going out on a date with mostly white women? He is a white man. But here's what really makes me mad. This is the girl he went on a date with from Hawaii. Like, sir, what you not finna do? You not finna play us, sir. You not finna play us, sir. Then this is the girl he went on a date with from New Mexico, who is actually, if you look on her Instagram, from Long Island. So, sir, if you have a type, you didn't even have to go across 50 states for that. I, listen, I, you, you all know what she's really saying. Basically, why didn't you go out with more black women? You say, well, she's talking about Hawaiian women, Polynesian women. No, 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 no. She don't care about no Polynesian women. She don't care about no Hispanic women like that. She's talking about black women. Why didn't he go out more with black women? Newsflash. Let me tell y'all once again, especially to the divestors, Okay. The reason why Brad cannot in mass go with you is because when he wants to have his little white children, he cannot have Emily and Connor with you. Only thing that he can have with you is a light skin, John Quavius and a light skin LaShonda. That's the only thing he can produce with you. And because he knows this, he has to go with the white woman. That's the only woman that can produce his kid. Period. That's why you are not going to be the choice. If he has a child, even with an Asian woman, he takes a risk with that too. The child can come out looking Asian. It happens, but he probably, he'd rather take that risk than having a child in mass with people like yourself, sis. So, and then I was this guy not even trying to do that. He's just dating uh, white females. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, how would it be if a brother did the exact same thing? He went to all 50 states and he dated all black women. One, one that was, had a black and a white parent, right? But it was all black women in every state. And a white woman got on here saying the exact same thing. I'm like, what is her business? Why she care about what a black man do? Why they always get involved in, in with black men? You know, oh, they, they get mad when black men don't pay them attention. You know what I'm saying? So you you looking ridiculous as much as a white woman would look ridiculous with this. Let's continue. Like you really just dated the same girl in every single state. Like I where where? Where is the seasoning? People have a type. People have a type. It's it's really what it is. People have a type. Women have a type. Men have a type. And the seasoning, once again, she's talking about black women. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, because I'm feeling like this was unnecessary. Why was it unnecessary? Why? Why is it, was it unnecessary for this man to choose to date 50 different women in 50 different states? One was half black, but why was that unnecessary? No, the fact is you saw reality. You saw reality that Brad don't want you like that. He don't. He won't the fool with the women in his community. And there's nothing wrong with that. Statistically speaking, every group dates and marry within their community more than, you know, than people who date other races or whatever, other communities, whatever you want to say, other ethnicities. Even in our community, 80 plus percent of people marry within our own black community. There's only a small minority of people 
that's doing that. Now, of course, I believe the next numbers is going to probably going to be a decrease of that, but still globally is still the majority of one people group married within their community. Cause that's people they live around. That's people that they're going to relate to a lot more. Brad don't relate to you. Not like that. He don't. So why, why are you tripping about what this man doing? He don't need no flavor of anything. He won't Mayo Mandy. That's what he deserves. Period. He don't need no seasoning. He not used to seasoning anyway. He don't season their food. We all know that. That's the running joke. Even white folks get on here talking about how they don't season their food. And the ones that do season their food, they have to go learn it from black folk. No, Brad don't want you like that. You just have to accept that. Don't tell him what he not going to do exactly what he did. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Like, well, there some, some of these women on here, boy, like <laughs> they, they, they can't take that harsh reality that Brad don't want them like that. And, and listen, they, what they'll do in response, you should see my DMS. Brad will lay down and slum it up with you. He'll do that. I mean, he a man. Sure. He want to get his rocks off or whatever. That's fine. But when it comes to actually being with you, he's not going to mess up the trust fund. He's not going to mess up that old slave money and everything else that he got coming to him for you. He ain't doing that. He like, he can fool with you. He could, he go slum you out and all that. And then when it's time to to just, just get that money, he gonna go get Emily. He gonna get Becca. That's what he gonna go do. And you know that, you know that, you know it. So yeah, don't, don't, don't play assist.